in this lesson i will explain to you we look up formula how this formula works in microsoft excel this is my data i have made a very simple table in order to explain you otherwise if you have thousand records you can apply the same concept which i am going to tell you now so see here this is our data and if you want to retrieve a particular item from this data you can use VLOOKUP, right? So here, suppose we want to retrieve the data of a book, what type of book is. So here you have to write down make book, right? And then in the type, first of all, you have to copy all the columns here and keep in mind that in Excel, always the formula starts with equal to sign. So you have to write down equal to sign and VLOOKUP. As soon as you will write down VL, you will see here the VLOOKUP formula is here. You can press tab or you can double click here then you have to follow exactly the same syntax so first of all it says look up value what value you are looking for we are looking for buke click here it will give you the cell reference which is d17 after that after this you have to put a comma and then table array table array means all your table including the heading so it is selected and after this you have a comma right after comma you can see column index number this is one of the most important feature means here see we want to know type so see we had started our table from d column so you have to start counting from d this is our one column this is our second column so you have to write down second index column index number is two do not count even though we have three blank columns here but we will not start that this is one two three no from where you will start your table you have to start counting from that column so we had started our uh, table from column number d so this is one and this is two after two you have to put comma here as soon as you will uh, put the comma here you can see two options true and false true if it is true you have to write down one here false is zero these are also known by the boolean operators i am going to put zero here question arises why because in the last lesson when we were discussing look up right only look up we had arranged our names in ascending order here these are not in ascending order if you are not going to change your data right so then you have to use false if you will arrange this data in ascending order then you have to put one here so i'm going to close my parenthesis and press enter you will see suv so buke type is suv if you want to know the origin as well so again the same thing equal to sign and then we look up right we look up then follow this syntax lookup value is buk after buk you have to put comma and then table array including the name of the columns or label of the columns and then again put comma after this column index number so this is one two three now origin column is three right so you have to be very careful here this is three do not start counting from a one two three no one two three if i will say invoice you have to find out the invoice so one two three four five six here column index number you have to put six here now see you cannot see true and false why because you have to put comma first as soon as i put the comma you will see two option true and false again it is zero because my data is not in the ascending order parenthesis close and enter so usa is here now same thing you have to do for drive train m m s r p invoice and so on how simple it is right now if you want to know about bmw or acura suppose if you want to know about acura type or region so what you have to do you have to do again all these things no only you have to change the name if i will write down acura here instead of our buk press center you will see acura is suv and origin is asia so only you have to change the name here 
so this function is not necessary that you can apply only this sheet you can apply to the other sheet as well as on other files as well i will show you so go to the sheet number b here i have written all the labels suppose i want to know about the toyota type so same thing you have to start with equal to sign and then v lookup is here what you want to look up i want to look up toyota and then table array my table array is in sheet number a so go to sheet number a select all this right then go back to sheet number two put comma here what is the origin column origin column is two after two you have to put comma and then zero because it is not in ascending order parenthesis closed here you have to keep in mind one important thing that this data is coming from sheet number a so do not forget to change this b to a because we are bringing our data from sheet number a so press enter something is wrong no worries at all okay equal to v look up right we look up we want to look this press comma go to table array see if you will forget to put comma or any minor mistake or syntax error it will not let you go so here and then is two and then we have zero parenthesis close try one more time i am going to make it a right and press enter now we have sedan so same thing you have to do for origin drivetrain and so on right but as i have told you that this data is on this file right we can apply the same function on different file as well so this is my new file known as book number one here suppose i want to know about about bmw right so what you have to do same thing equal to and then equal to v lookup after lookup you have to sorry see okay i just press some help function i do not want this okay so this one right here you have to press this bmw and then comma and now we are going back to our sheet number a select all this from here you will see the reference will be on your new sheet this is comma and then type is our second index comma zero and then parenthesis close and enter sedan right so it means that this function you can apply not only in one sheet other sheets as well as in other files too now the question arises see here we have eight or ten columns so you have to do one by one in all column drivetrain ms msrp invoice engine size it's time consuming so there should be some formula which we can apply to all the columns in one shot yes there is so i will show you how the v lookup formula works for multiple columns so suppose here is the bmw and in one shot i want to know all this information what you have to do you have to put first of all equal to sign v lookup right and then in v lookup we want to know about this bmw after this this is the important point after this as we want to know all the information of all the columns that is why we have to fix this d20 this is the cell reference press f4 on your keyboard it will convert to dollar sign d dollar sign 20 it means it is fixed now then put comma after comma table array and this is the table array so you have to select all this right again we want to know all these columns not only one columns all columns you have to press f4 we have to fix this f4 and then is the column index right is comma here column index you do not have to write down two or three or four because we want to know all information in one shot so you have to write down columns complete word here columns start parenthesis right and then see we are working on these two select these two and the first one 
this one make should be d15 should be fixed so bring your insertion point after d15 and press f4 and then close the parenthesis comma right and then we will see true and false it is false because our data is not in the ascending order and then press enter sedan so see bmw bmw you can check you can verify from here type is sedan right but as we have applied this function to all the columns you have to press and hold and drag it down so you will see all the information of bmw is there in one shot if you want to know about acura no worries at all just change this name make it acura press enter you will see all the information right so i so i hope the concept is clear now your job is to practice it subscribe to my channel share my channel and thanks for watching